All right. Hope everyone's having a really good day. I'm, I'm stirred up, excited about the, the, the things of the Lord. And this morning, my wife and I, we were talking. And, and as we were talking, we, we always have a heart of gratitude towards the Lord. And we're just always so thankful for everything that God's done in our life and also what God is doing in our life. And so we were just talking about just the goodness of God and, and everything that he's done and everything you know he's brought us through. And, and we, we talk about that, but we focus on what is coming. And as we were just really thinking about the, the, the goodness of God, the, the Lord started showing me something that really grabbed me. The Lord was talking about commitment and dedication. And yes, God can bless you whenever and however he wants to because he's God. But I started thinking about what the word of God says. Now I'm going to read this in two different um, translations. Proverbs 16, three, we're going to start off in the passion. It says, before you do anything, put your trust totally in God and not yourself then every plan that you make will succeed. So here I am thanking God for, for all the great things that he's done for us and what he's done in us and through us. But I felt the Lord drew me to this scripture to say, no, no, no. I, I know you're thanking me, but thank you for being committed. Thank you for being submitted to the Holy Spirit. Thank you being submitted to the right leadership. Thank you for your dedication. Because when God gives you a dream, a purpose, anything, you know, it's not optional to do it. You have to do the things of the Lord. I'm going to read that again. Before you do anything, put your trust totally in God and not yourself, and your plans are going to succeed. Now, let's go into the New King James. It says, commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Okay. If your thoughts are established, your mind is fixed on the things of the Lord. And when your mind is fixed on the things of the Lord, you are going to go down the right path. You're going to go straight. You're going to go on the narrow. I'm telling you, your destiny will not let you hang out with certain people. Your dreams will not let you hang out in certain places. You've got to be focused because the word says that whatever you commit to God, it will succeed. Three years ago, my wife and I started Roar Apostolic Network. Right here on my desk, I have a folder for Jojo Dawson Ministries and the Roar Apostolic Network for 2019. Every person who is a part of this, their name is in there. I go through and I pray for these people on a weekly basis. Why is our network thriving? What does the word thrive mean? Develop well, because I keep this on my desk. You know, I, I keep the word of God on my desk. I, I keep a few books on my desk. This book right here, The Power of Character and Leadership by Dr. Miles Monroe. It doesn't get too far from me. Apostolic Church Arising by Chuck Pierce. It doesn't get too far from me because I've committed to God to have character and leadership. I've committed to God to see the apostolic prophetic kingdom church manifest in our region. And so I'm, I'm keeping that before me. Also, my, my wife and I, we have committed to the health program Optavia. I got these bars. They don't get too far from me. You know, I had a, a really harsh surgery and I didn't rehabilitate. So I called, reached out to one of my mentors who was doing this program. I lost 19 pounds in two weeks, loved it so much. I became a coach. Now we have so many people that we're helping through that. I work on that every day. Why? Because I'm committed to it. Why? Because I'm dedicated to it. See people, this is what they say. I'm going to try something for 90 days and see how it works. It won't work. It won't work. You got to commit to something. You never plant a church and say, I'm going to see how how it works. I'm going to see if this church works. No, no, no. I'm going to start a business for 90 days and just see how it works. No, it's not. You don't get married and say, well, let's see how my marriage works for six months. No, 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 no. You got to commit to something because what you commit to is what God will bless. See, when God sees that your heart is committed to a work, the work will be blessed. Somebody asked me recently, how, how are you blessed in so many things? Because I prioritize my time. 
I devote my time to what is important. What is important to me? My walk with God. My walk with God. My relationship with God. My prayer time. My Bible reading time. That's what's important. My marriage is important. That's why we dedicate so much time. My kids are important. You know, actually, it's my oldest daughter's birthday today. Yes, we let her skip school because that's what good parents do. And and my wife is spending this, the day with her, just, you know. And, and so we're having some family time and we're going to go uh, away for a few days and do some things as a family. It's, it, it's commitment. People tell me all the time, you have the best kids I've ever seen in my life. Oh, they just didn't turn out that way. It is a commitment from parents and grandparents and mentors speaking into their life. You know, people say, hey, you know, you're, I've had people visit our church and they'll be like, we have never really been around a church where the presence and the power was so strong. Um, we have weekly prayer meetings, multiple prayer meetings. The people in our church, they fast on a regular basis. I call fast all the time in, in our church. Why? Because I'm committed to fasting. You know, we have a, a, a Bible reading guide in our church. Why is that? Because the word of God is important to us. That's why when we start talking about, when we start talking about, like in our church, we have announcements. We always start off with, we have multiple prayer meetings a week. That's how we start everything. Why? Because I'm committed to God. You know, every day when I get up I, in in our, our health business with Optavia, you know, I pray over all of our, the business calls them clients. We call them family members. You know, that's why I pray over our network. I pray over the people in our church because I'm committed and, and, and I'm submitted and I'm dedicated to the things that God has called me to. So if, if you are doing something for the Lord, you got to ask, are you committed to it? P people struggle in their marriage and they'll come to me and I'll be like, well, which one of y'all is not committed? Which one of y'all is not dedicated? Well, what do you mean? Well, if you're dedicated, it means you keep short accounts of, of wrongdoings. You, you, if you're committed to this, you're in it for the long haul. If, if you've got $2 million invested in a business and it's not going good, you just don't walk away from it. No, no, you, you, you try to work. You, you know, marriage, you have time invested into it. And parenting, parenting is, is daily disciplining your kids, discipling your kids, encouraging your kids, teaching them to live outside of the box. Understand every time they go through a, a bad situation at school or something like that, you, you got you disciple them through it. You are, are committed to them. You, you are dedicated to make them a productive part of society. So in, in this, this word I just read in Proverbs, you know, 16 and three, commit your work to the Lord? Are you committing what you are doing right now to God? You know, on, on my, my wedding ring right here, I don't put a cross on it. And, and the reason we did this is, is to always understand that our marriage was first committed to God before we were committed to one another. And it's the same thing. You know, I look at my kids. I remember when all three of my kids were born, I thank God for my kids, but I understood it was my responsibility to train them for the Lord, because all three of them are going to be used mightily of God. And, and so the thing is, a, a lot of people, they're not committed. Um, Earl Nightingale said this one time, and this was so good. He said, if you work on your craft, on your gift for one hour a day for five years, you will be a national expert within five years. If you read, and so what is working on your craft? Reading on it. You know, I remember when I understood that I was an apostle. I bought every book I, I could by John Eckhart, Dutch Sheets, Greg Crawford. I called, you know, that's when I really became close friends with Apostle Ryan Lestrange, Apostle Chris Mathis, Apostle, my apostle, Ken Malone. And I started hanging out with them. When I got in the housing business, I read books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I got around people because I was committed. You know, the, the the few houses that I have left in our housing business, you know, they're all paid for. They're all paid for, which means everything that comes in is clear. Why? Because I was committed. Hey, when I first got in the rent house business, guess who did the demo? Guess who did the yards? Guess who did all that stuff? I got in there and I did it. I worked at it. As time went on, I was committed. I was dedicated to the business. Hey, man, I got this problem. Can you go do this? Hey, man, can you go hook up my yard over there? Hey, man, you know, yeah, I, I could do that. At first, it wasn't like that. 
It was sweat equity 101. It, it was me spending my, my time off. My wife and kids bringing me lunch on my day off because I was working in their yard. I was tearing out a floor. I was doing some demo. That, see, people don't want to work today. You know, but but I can look now every month in my housing business and I teach people how to buy their own house through owner financing. That money that comes in is, is setting in an account because I was committed years ago. My marriage is thriving today because 20 years ago, when neither one of us had ever been married, we, of course, you are not an expert if you've never been married. And it, it and we work through a lot of things and, and, and we have a great marriage, you know. In ministry, I love our church. I love our apostolic family. I love everything that I'm doing. I absolutely love this health plan because I've committed and I've dedicated myself to, to learn this. A lot of times people like to blame everybody. You can blame everybody you want to. But if you would do this, if you would quit making excuses and you would commit yourself to what you're caught, don't care what anybody says about you. Why do racehorses put those blinders on their eyes? So they can't look at the stands. They can't look look at the infield. They can't look. They're looking straight ahead. You need to be a thoroughbred. You need to run. You need to run in this season of your life. Be committed and, and just watch how the Lord can change your life. Some people that get on this health program, Optavia, with us, you know, and if you want more information, go to jojodawson.net, go to contact, find the part where it says health coach. He sent me an email and I'll get with you. Some people say, well, this program works okay for me. I said, if it, if it didn't work for you properly, it's because you're not committed. When I got on it, I did a plan called five and one. Take a shake, a few bars a day, eat one meal a day um, or two meals a day and do four bars and shakes. I was committed to it, lost 19 pounds. My coach was like, wow, you must be fully committed to lose 19 pounds in two weeks. I said, I am. I'm fully committed to it. And, and so people that join our network, people that, that join our church, people that join our health program, I can look at them. I can look at them and be like, hmm, you know, the, listen, the way that you do anything is the way that you do everything. If you are not succeeding in any area of your life, it's because the way that you do things. Now, if you are succeeding in every area of your life, then things are, are happening because one, you committed your work to the Lord, but you're committed. Recently, and I've said this on a few videos, um, I have a, 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 a business that I don't take a check from. My, my check from that business goes 100% into a mutual fund. A mutual fund that I will be receiving in 20, 25, 30 years. If you know anything about finances, money doubles every seven years. So everything that I'm putting in now should be three to four times greater than, but I've been doing this for a minute. So my wife and I put ourselves in a place financially that we pay our bills and, you know, we, we do vacations. We, we live good. You know, God's blessed us. We live good. But we've put ourselves in a place financially to where we can actually put a, a lump sum of money back every month, a good bit back every month. How did that happen? We scraped by for years. Nobody gave us a big check to get us started. I remember at one point we first got married. My wife was, was still in college and, and we were paying for her to go to college her last year. And I married her when she was a senior in college. I was working four jobs at one time, four jobs just to get by. I'm not just getting by anymore, but commitment. My walk with God, you know, when people first get saved, it's almost like a lot of times they're nervous serving God. I, I'm not, I'm not nervous anymore because as Bill Johnson says, when you build history with God, God will build history through you. I have a close walk with God and I know the word of God. I, I love the word of God. And so I know what the word says that I'm going to prosper in life. If I do what the Lord says, you know, you look up Psalms 119, 911. How can a young man keep his way pure by taking heed according to the word? I've heard the word in my heart that I might not sin against you. You know, when you know the word, you know what God says. You're not going to be struggling. You're going to be 
You're going to be committed and, and, and dedicated to the things of God. So you can succeed in what God has called you to because God needs leaders in whatever industry, whatever business you're in. And somebody asked me, he said, Joe, it seems like every time you start a new adventure, you succeed in it. I said, I do. They said, why? I said, because I don't fail. Because everything I do, number one, I feel a leading of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit doesn't fail. And two, what did I read in the scripture? Proverbs 16, 3. I commit the work to the Lord, then my thoughts will be established in that work. So I got the favor of God on my life. I got the blessing of God on my life. How can you fail when you're doing something for the sole purpose of the advancement of the kingdom of God? You can't. So hope this helped you. Hope this encouraged you. And my wife and I, we love walking with people that want to be committed and dedicated to what God's called them to. That's why we offer help. That's why you can go to my website, jojodawson.net, hit contact, three places. You can send me a prayer request, and I'll pray for you. I love prayer. Two, ask for information on the health coaching. I'll tell you something. Health coaching, I've been doing it four months. It's, it's financially set me free in some areas. I was doing good in other endeavors, but this business has exploded for us. Also, I feel great physically, but, but in, in our health, it's, it's radically changed our, our finances because my wife and I, what do we do? We committed, we dedicated to it. And then the next one is our Roar Apostolic Family. I love helping people give them wisdom, insight, and breakthrough prayer to succeed in ministry, in business, in life. And we love partnering people to help them move forward. So hopefully this video encouraged you today and I would love to partner with you in prayer Maybe you want to be a part of the Roar Apostolic family. I would love to do that. I'd love to be your health coach if you are looking for someone to help you in that. So thank you, and I hope this video encouraged you today. I actually think I encouraged myself during this video.